My name is Matt Fernandez. I'm a chassis builder here at Hendrick Motorsports. Today we're going to be building a fuel cell rack that goes on the cup car to secure the fuel cell. Uh, we've got to make it with the NASCAR tolerances, so it has to be right. And I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process, and we're going to go from there. Today for this special project, we're going to use the uh, Dynasty 200, Miller Dynasty 200, and I have it set on 200 amps. Now, I set it on 200 amps because I like to play with the foot pedal. Uh, give me a little bit more room, put on full power. I actually use pulse mode, and I'll show you what pulse mode is here pretty soon. But for this best project and the wall thickness we're using, you can easily use the Miller Diversion 180 to do this project. I'm going to be using ER80 SD2 116th filler rod for this project. To set the welder, my preference for this project, first we're going to turn the welder on, turn on the water cooler, we're going to adjust the amperage. Like I said, I like to set it on 200 amps. It gives me room to work with the foot pedal. I like working with the foot pedal. Now for this project, I'm going to use pulse mode. It's an on and off amperage mode that I'm going to use. And to adjust that, 1.2. What that is is 1.2 pulses per second I'm going to use. You can adjust that any way you want to, faster pulse. What that does is it doesn't let a lot of heat in the material for, for warpage, and it gives it a nicer look. So today I'm going to be using 1.2 on the pulse and we got it set on DC current so it's about ready to set up ready to go today we're going to use one by one mild steel 1018 tubing that NASCAR mandates to use on the fuel cell rack what we have done now is we've already welded the bung in and we've run it through a planer planer what that does is take away any manufacturer's impurities gives it a smooth finish and also grinds us a little bit of weight and uh, after I do that process, there's a hole that's filled in here on a bridge port. It runs a bung. NASCAR mandates the size of this bung that's used in this tubing. What I have done already is I have welded it all the way in, flush on one side, and there's three eighths on the other side, which NASCAR mandates to use. I'm getting ready to take the fixture pieces, and I'm getting ready to put it on our fixture. I'm going to bolt them down. There's only one place they can bolt down. I'm going to show you that process real quick. As you can see, there's the start of the fuel cell rack. All we have to do is put our fixture pieces down and we're getting ready to weld. Now what these are for is to hold down the material. During the welding process, there's metal tends to move around with heat, so this, this will hold it in one place. Now the first step I'm gonna do before I start welding is I'm gonna flip this, up, flip this rack over on this rotisserie I have set up here for easy accessible welding. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack the corners right here. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help it keep it from, from warping or try and moving as I'm throwing a lot of heat to it at one time. For this project, I'm using a special gas lens on my TIG torch. What that does is allow gas to cover the whole weld area and also allows me to pull my tungsten out a little bit further for tighter spaces in the, in the weld. Now that we have the rack tacked together, now we're ready to weld it. Now I'm gonna alternate welding here. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put a lot of heat in one area. I'm gonna start welding the side and alternate from place to place. Now that I have as much as I can welded in the fixture, I'm gonna flip the fixture around and I'm gonna take these hold down pieces out. Now what I did is I let it cool down a few minutes. I don't wanna have a bunch of heat in it and then take them right off. What that causes is the metal to warp. Now I'm gonna alternate well, just like I did on the back side, to just, to just diverse the heat around the area. You don't want too much heat in one area. So I'm gonna take them off. Okay, now that we've finished uh, welding up our fuel cell rack, 
Now we're going to let it sit here and cool in the fixture for a little while before we take it out. Then we're going to install it on the chassis. Uh, the simple steps we did, it's a pretty simple project. We just cut our material, welded bungs in, placed it on the fixture, held down the pieces, welded it together. And the alternate welding is very critical in this type of application. You don't want too much heat in one area. What it's going to do is it's going to start warping the metal up. And it's going to start trying to draw the metal and there'll be a lot of variations if you build a large quantity of them. For more racing, customizing, restoring tips, visit MillerWelds.com.